VRE is being responsible for the generation of electricity. I mean, some time back, we were responsible for generation as well as transmission. But then, with the restructure of the sector, we've been mainly responsible for generation. And I must say, well, we've been, we've been doing that pretty well over the years, till an IPP came in a short while ago, a few years back. Uh, the current situation in terms of energy supply, uh, I can't say it's too good because we had a challenge with uh, gas supply from, uh, from Nigeria. We sort of affected the supply or reliability of supply. But today it was quite okay. As we speak today, the gas pipeline has been restored, be able to meet the load in this country without any, any load management or power sharing. So as we speak today, we have adequate generation to meet the demand. But the demand in Ghana, now that Ghana is a middle income, turned into a middle income country, is growing. It used to be 6 7%, now it's jumping up to roughly 10% per annum. That requires between 100 to 150 megawatts of additional generation every year. We're looking on to other people to help out. The VRA has positioned itself in such a way that should the IPPs not come, we should be able to take that mantle. Because, of course, before the IPPs came, VIA was handling this you know, all by itself anyway. So we have a number of projects lined up, some which are currently under construction, but which are just been finished, to make sure that we are able to meet this rapid growth of, growth of uh, electricity demand. You know, growth of electricity demand itself is good for any nation, but it shows how well you are developing. And I must say, we are, together with government support, seeing how best we can we can add on these things the challenge we have today is that we have just barely enough reserve and that's why a machine goes down for plant outage or whatever you have a challenge but then if you have enough generation with the required reserve which should be less not less than 18 20 percent you should be able to manage the system very well and our focus is to supply enough to this country and to the neighboring countries and that, that's what we, we've been working on. And we've already started a lot of collaboration with uh, Togo Beni, Burkina Faso, even uh, La Côte d'Ivoire. Of course, we've been doing this for some time now, supplying power to Togo Beni and um, the border towns in uh, Burkina Faso. We want to do that on a bigger scale, and we are positioning ourselves very well. We su we've been supplying power to Togo Beni since '72. Right now, we're not giving that much, but they still prefer power from Ghana because of the reliability. We've having interchanges with them, exchange. I mean, we go there very often. And even though we are an English-speaking country, the collaboration is excellent. We've been having several meetings with Burkina Faso as well. In terms of, they have a small dam which well, is upstream of one of our, our tributaries. But proper collaborations, and of course, we 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 we, we well, I, I wouldn't say we are bigger in terms of power generation in the South region. Uh, I mean, the, the four countries surrounding our place. So. They look up to us and we try to champion some of these things. We play an active part in the West African power pool. Okay, we have a West African base in Benin. We are actively there and we participate well, make sure our presence is also being felt. Well, definitely, Ghana, you know, we can afford all these 150 megawatt additional generation every year. Well, besides that, we need even a reserve margin. We need a 5,000 megawatt and add on these things. We, 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 we expecting. Um, well, we've opened our arms to IPPs to come in, open our arms to other uh, financial institutions who can also help us in the power sector. So our arms are open. I mean, VI want to build this plant, get investors who want to come on a PPP arrangement with us or support us in, uh, in building this project. We are, we are, our arms are open. So I mean, we've, been, we've been talking to quite a lot of people on this. My dream is, well, IPPs are also encouraged to come in. But even if the IPP is coming, VI should take not less than 8% of the stake of the, of the sector. Most developed well, I see it happening. So we as VRA will position ourselves very well to take the bigger stake at our, by ourselves or get a partners, partnership with other people and make sure that we control the sector. And of course, by doing that, we, we, can, we can help develop, develop uh, this nation.